Welcome to G Suite Dashboards. I want to go over how the G Suite Dashboards work and we'll start here on the website. Why use G Suite Dashboards? Well, one of the, one of the shortcomings of a lot of the school information systems I've worked with is that the data is in there but you can't easily see it, you can't get to it, and, and it's not in a usable format that really helps administrators and school decision makers. So that's the, the purpose of G Suite dashboards. How does it work? Well, um, it's built on the concept that we can build these dashboards out of one sheet. So I am... Um, I can get the data as a CSV file out of a student information system and from that one sheet I can build all of the other things that we're looking at. I, I will go over what these uh, uh, student dashboard and teacher bat dashboards do uh, in, in my little tutorial here. On the main page of G Suite dashboards is the, um, the main uh, spreadsheet which I actually have embedded here on this Google site and here you can see the information that I am looking at embedded on the site. I have um, attendance information and enrollment information that you can see on this main piece. I also have the ability with awesome tables I've uh, embedded the information on this table and the great thing about this is I can take a look at the number of kids that have, just by uh, doing a quick sort, I can tell you how many kids right here have um, uh, full days of um, full attendance. And I could do that by school. So I could take a look at this elementary school one, that's how many kids have perfect attendance. I could come down and take a look at elementary school two. I have, um, um, several of these students. There's 380 kids in this school and on my first page there I have three pages where so quite a few students that have that there. But I could break that down too by um, I break that down also by gender or ethnicity or grade. And uh, that's the beauty of this awesome table. This works in my opinion a lot faster than I've ever seen most SIS's work in terms of being able to find. So for instance, I could go to elementary school two, grade level two, and try to find the number of kids with perfect attendance, grade two, elementary school two, and I can see right there I have that many of those students. Very nice for a, an administrator to pull up that list of kids without actually having to go to the secretary and say, who are the kids that have that um, type of attendance? So that's that's what I can do on uh, on the uh, actual website and also then on the website for administrators they can look at the enrollment stats broken out enrollment by grade slash school so this shows me in um, my grade level one elementary school number four elementary school number three and so forth these are all live graphs that update automatically if the data is updated the website's updated here's my enrollment by grade level you can see how that pops in there. I have enrollment by school, enrollment by ethnicity, by gender, free and reduced lunch status, number of students with perfect attendance, and special ed counts um, for this uh, fake district that, that I'm working with here. So again, that's my enrollment stats. That's the website. So how does it all work? Well, we come back over here to a single Google spreadsheet where all this is being built. And in fact, it's all being built from a single sheet that I have some uh, scripts writing, uh, written some scripts that will automatically keep this data up to date on a daily basis. So we would um, update this data automatically each night um, through this script and then all the rest of this is built out of uh, this um, that sing single sheet. Um, we've gone over this main page. This is just a, a page to look at and try to look find the information you want to see. It's got a lot of information on attendance, percentages of attendance broken down for the district, for the grade level, for the school, 
And at least for my grades one through six, it gets uh, different when you get into middle school and high school. They don't have homerooms where I can track this in the same way. And I have a sped count. Now over on my student dashboard, this is interesting. The student dashboard is pulling in a lot of information. It's showing me how many students in my district have perfect attendance, how many have more than 10 absences. So, um, and then when I um, take a look at a particular student, this is a drop down, and I can choose a different student. And when I do, you'll see the graph redraws. I am looking at that particular kid. So if I take a look at this particular kid that has um, uh, this amount of at days of absence, I can um, I could actually just highlight this uh, this um, uh, last name. I'm going to go ahead and copy that, and then I can come over here and on my drop down I could do a paste of that and take a look at that. And when I do that, here's that kid um, got 40 days of absence, been enrolled for 70 days, has uh, uh, 30 days of presence, got a 42% attendance rate. And I have also pulled off into this information um, the phone number. This would, would be a warrant a, a parent call. I also um, am allowing the, uh, the administrator to look and see, you know, what would the special ed rating be on this. I have a, a kid, I believe, um, uh, one of my fake kids here. So if a kid has that special ed rating, it tells me what that is. And that, that just auto populates. Again, everything comes out of this one sheet. Then in addition, we have a teacher dashboard that allows me to teach, uh, select different teachers. And when I select a different teacher, we see the attendance percentage by child. Um, and also in this case of this particular teacher, 25 students, 16% of them are special ed. And I can go right down the list and take a look at whichever teacher I need to see more information on and take a look at attendance in that. So again, um, this is the G Suite dashboards. Um, if you're interested, I have a sign up sheet here where you could fill out a form and we will um, get back with you with more information about G Suite dashboards.